Good morning, everybody. I am Ajit Kumar Mika of National Institute of Technology, Durgapur, India. Convey my sincere thanks to organizer for selecting our above paper for oral presentation in the conference. Outline of the talk is as below. Materials with enhanced dielectric properties are in contact constant demand for energy storage device material, inorganic ceramic materials, so high dielectric constant, but inherent brittleness and bulky properties limit their application in soft flexible devices. The aim of this work is to design a flexible polymer CNT composite material with enhanced dielectric constant with low dielectric loss. Properties of carbon nanotube are well known to all. They possess good thermal conductivity, mechanical and electrical properties, which are valuable for different fields of material science and technology. Among the polymer, PVDF is most widely used due to easy processability, easy frame forming properties, good dielectric strength. The structure of different phases like alpha, beta, and gamma of PVDF are shown here. The samples are prepared by simple solution casting rule, which is described in the figure. The PPR samples are characterized as S0, S1, S2, S3, and S4. The cream of thickness 0 0.106 millimeter and area 9 into 12 millimeter square has been prepared. Silver paste contact was applied to the opposite faces of the sample for electrical measurement. The experimental setup for the dielectric measurement for Temperature range 300 to 423 K are described in the figure. Morphology of the films are described here. The sponge like structure has been observed for pure PVDF, whereas, due to addition of MWCMT, sponge like structure almost disappeared. AFM analysis clearly demonstrated the dispersion of MWCMT into the polymer matrix. The analysis of the FTIR's peak suggests the existence of the alpha, beta, and gamma phases of the PVDF in the film. The beta phases of the PVDF with high intensity in the S2 sample reflects the presence of the high order beta phase contribution in the PVDF WCNT CWH system. The Roman spectroscopy has been studies for further clarification regarding the presence of different phases of PVDF and the effect of the functional group on the matrix filler interface interaction. The <coughs> alpha, beta, and gamma phase of PVDF are secret to higher frequency due to strong interaction between CWH group and CFTV. The intensity ratio I alpha by I beta and I gamma by I beta reduces from 0.37 to 0.19 and 1.25 to 0.81 indicates the addition of the functionalized MWCNT allows arranging polar beta phase compared to the non-functionalized MWCNT. The XRT analysis suggests that the degrees of crystallinity reduces for functionalized MWCNT to BDF than pure MWCNT PVDF because for functionalized MWCNT due to presence of functional group on the surface, TTTT conformation of PVDF cannot able to well match with the zigzag carbon atoms, so degrees of crystallinity decreases. The frequency variation of AC conductivity with temperature has been shown here. The frequency exponent S can be calculated from the slope of at the straight line part of the curve. The frequency exponent for S1 sample is purely temperature independent and follow the quantum mechanical tunneling model. Whereas for S2 sample, it decreases which follow the correlated barrier coping model. The conductivity value enhances with an increase in temperature, probably due to the enhancement of free charge contribution to the composite system. The dielectric constant significantly enhances 
for functionalized MWCNT PVDA film over pure MWCNT PVDA film. However, the dielectric loss is significantly lower in functionalized MWCNT PVDA film compared to pure MWCNT PVDA film. The board part of the impedance spectroscopy at different temperature of S1 and S2 sample has been shown here. A prominent relaxation peak has been observed which shift to the higher frequency side with an increase in temperature and this reflects the relaxation time loss with an increase in temperature. The frequency variation of electric modulus has been discussed here. The value of parameters C and D in the equation indicate the deviation from the DY model at low and high frequency region. The analysis of the data suggests that the deviation from the DY model is less for S2 sample compared to the S1 sample. The normalized electric modulus for S1 and S2 sample are demonstrated here. The normalized curve for S1 sample do not match on the single master club curve, although for S2 sample overlap on a single curve. So for S1, the dynamical properties change with temperature, whereas for S2 sample, it is temperature independent. The resistance voltage plot engraves the formation of the hysteresis loop of the nanocomposite film and indicates the memory storage performance of the film. The low value of the skin depth and high dielectric constant of the film makes it a promising candidate for designing flexible and cost-effective electronic devices. A clear electric hysteresis in current voltage behavior has been observed for all sample except S1 and S4. Initially, increasing voltage from 0 to 50 volt current value is high, so a high conducting state has been observed. In this state, a local conducting path of low resistivity may be generated. Now, for decreasing voltage from 50 to 0, current suddenly drops and does not follow the same path. At this time, some dipoles are trying to back in its initial state, then free charge carriers are maybe trapped inside the grain and grain boundary, which decrease the value of the current. Static and dynamic conductivity of the different sample are plotted here. It is observed that for S1 and S2 sample, both the conductivity value is high and it does not change with temperature, whereas other samples, it shows the temperature variation. So by changing the functionalized group of MWCNT, we find different conducting behavior of the functionalized MWCNT PVDF film. The variation of polarization with electric field has been shown for different samples at different hysteresis period. We observe clearly electric hysteresis loop for S0, S2, and S3, except S1 and S4. The increment of remnant polarization with hysteresis period for S0, S2, and S3 has been observed. This is because with increasing time, more dipoles are able to orient in the applied field direction. The enhanced energy storage capacity has been observed in functionalized MWCNT PVDF composite film, which can be used for development of flexible energy storage devices. In conclusion, FTIR and Roman study suggest the formation of polar beta phase of PVDF in the composite. Enhanced dielectric property have been observed with ferroelectric hysteresis loop. The energy density of the film is very high, so it can be used as energy storage materials. The reference are given here. Acknowledgement. Thank you. Thank you.